Hi, I'm Derek Silas, the Director of Electronic Communications for the City of Enid. There are a lot of great things going on in Enid, and specifically at Meadow Lake Park. Today my special guest is Casey Felix, a member of the Enid Kiwanis Club. Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming. Hey, thanks for having me. All right. All right. The City of Enid, partnering with the Enid Kiwanis Club, has substantially improved the quality of life, specifically at Meadow Lake Park. Um, we have the train depot, the carousel, mm -hmm. the Ferris wheel, now we have the Ferris wheel. Um, for those out there that may not know a little about the Enid Kiwanis Club, could you tell us a little about the, the, that mm -hmm. and a little about the partnership between the City of Enid and the club? Absolutely. Um, Enid Kiwanis Club is a international organization dedicated to serving the children of the world, mm -hmm. one community at a time. Right. And what our local group does is we run all the amusement rides at the park, mm -hmm. and that is kind of our fundraiser. Um, so that we're not having to constantly go out and do other <laughs> little fundraisers. It's, it's very easy for us. Um, of course, it does take a lot of manpower. Right. Uh, we operate the rides, and then all the monies that we raise go back into children's programs, whether it be um, from donations for people to ask for going on different missions groups or after, um, let's see, right now it's kind of into school projects, mm -hmm. like project graduations, after proms. It might be for... Um, runs organizations that are doing fundraising of their own for anything that is a child's project um, we would support that and so you can either ask us and you know by writing us a letter or we've most recently began partnering with a lot of organizations such as the Boy Scouts, Enid Swim Team, Enid Wrestling Team, any of the organizations that again are dedicated to helping the children can come out to the park and help us fundraise and by doing that they get some of the proceeds. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now we also, we're, I mean, we've also, everybody's very excited about the new Ferris ride. Yes. Uh, Ferris wheel ride. So could you tell us a little about Absolutely. that Absolutely. Um, our current president, Matt Davis, decided one day that he was going to take a little road trip with some city commissioners and they mm -hmm. were going to go check out some Ferris wheels. Mm -hmm. And he came home all excited and said, I want a Ferris wheel and we should get this done. And lo and behold, the next meeting, he says, I've got the money for the Ferris wheel raised between our club and another private donor okay. and some other um, donations. And we just asked the city if they would let us put it in their park. Um, because of course we are on a, a the city park, we just own the rides. Okay. Um, and actually we only own the train and now the Ferris wheel. Mm -hmm. The carousel is a city, um, but we, operate it. We have a long-term lease on that. So lo and behold, last fall they came and erected a 45-foot tall Ferris wheel. Yes. And so now it is almost up and running. The actual Ferris wheel is up and running, but we have to get the fencing built right. around it right, right. for safety inspection that will be coming up later this month. And then once that's approved by the state of Oklahoma, then we will open officially on May the 21st right. at 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. And that's good. I know it's very <laughs> exciting because we we've never had one before, so I don't know. It's exciting and scary all at the same time. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, with the new ride, we also also noticed because I was following the uh, Kiwanis Club Facebook page, mm -hmm. and then I went out there, but I saw that the, you all have a new ticket dispenser. Could yes. you tell us a little bit how that process will work? Absolutely. With new ticket dispenser. The general public is probably used to having our ticket booth there and then we have always sold tickets a person has been there to make change or to you know right. buy tickets and in the past we've had a two-tier system each ticket might have been a different color you might have had green or right. you might have had yellow because right. one represented a two dollar ticket one represented a one dollar ticket mm -hmm. we tried to want to we wanted to simplify things in order to kind of streamline we bought a ticket dispenser and said every tickets a dollar right. now each ride might cost more than one ticket. So this summer when ki he, kids, kids and adults come to the park, they will put in their money into the dispenser. A dollar will get you one ticket, five dollars will get you five tickets, right. um, and so forth. And then when they get up to go do the rides, every train ride will cost a person two tickets. Okay. And then every Ferris will, will cost a person two tickets, and then carousel rides are one ticket. So if they wanted to do all three, it would be basically be five tickets and five dollars. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, concerning the Ferris wheel, are there any rules or safety issues that you need to address to the public? Yes. Uh, our, our major number one rule right now is zero tolerance on rocking. Everyone probably thinks it's going to be a lot of fun to get in the little buckets right. and try to 
if it does, we will take you off the ride immediately. That is the number one rule that was stressed by the manufacturer and the people who erected the um, Ferris wheel for us. And throughout every safety manual we have, it says zero tolerance. So there will be no tolerance of anyone who wants to rock the boat, as they say. Okay. Um, we will stop the ride and put them off immediately. Okay. Is there a limit on the height or anything for some anyone riding the Ferris wheel? There are. Um, right now, the manual says that anyone between the ranges of 36 and 48 inches must be accompanied by a parent okay. and then anyone that's 48 inches or taller could potentially ride by themselves as long as they felt safe. You okay. will be belted in. You will, you will not only just have a seat belt but then there is a safety bar that will come down as well. So okay. it's pretty secure. Well I'm very excited. I have two kids and they're excited and actually the other day we were there looking at the Ferris wheel and the guy from uh, another from the Tri-State Festival, uh -huh. Carnival or yeah. Fair he came over he said oh my god I, when they were setting it up they saw the ferris wheel so he came over to check it out oh cool and you know, he said it was a very good choice because he knows ferris wheels mm -hmm. so it was a very good choice that we made the one oh we that's had. always so, good to hear oh, so that was good yeah it yeah. was um so is there anything else you need to tell the viewers you can speak directly um, to the about the no ferris i would wheel? say that the probably the biggest concern that I have that, that getting out to the public is the ticket dispenser because we won't have a p live person there to make change so if you come to the park this summer just bring small bills or know that you ha that twenty dollars is the largest bill that the machine will take and if you put twenty dollars in you're gonna get twenty tickets so either be prepared to ride a few rides or <laughs> keep your tickets for further use they're always good um, but know that the machine will not make change and nor will Kiwanis uh, members and or volunteers have any change on themselves to be able to do that so okay. just come with small bills all right well we definitely thank you for give informing us today about a lot of things about the park and uh, the rides and what have you I know a lot of people are really looking forward to the Ferris wheel so mm -hmm. um, thank you very kindly for joining no us today and I hope you guys are have learned a lot and Go out there and have fun this summer. Thursday through Sunday. Thursday through Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, have a blessed day.